Hi boys and girls, welcome to the main event. We've been working for the past few weeks on Kistler's principles. Remember, foreshortening, surface, shading, size, overlapping, contour lines, density, and shadows. I don't expect you to remember those names, but they will come into play on our project. So, like always, on our roll of worlds, you're going to start out with your roll one, first column, roll two, second column, roll three, third column, row four, fourth column. In this one, you have different choices of your place, your type of homes, because we're making a different world. Well, you could think of it as a different um, video game area or something like that. How many different houses or castles are in this world and what time of day or what time of year it is. So watch me. I'll put this in picture in picture so you can see it and uh, enjoy. Okay, I got number three, which is the desert. When you're doing anything involving a landscape, you need to start furthest back. Now in our Kistler's principles, we realize anything that is up high in a picture is small or further, the, further away. Anything that is close is much bigger and more detailed or more dense. So I'm going to start with my horizon line. Now this is a more, not mountainy, but deserty. It's not flat like it is in Kansas. I better, I better do this with a highlighter so you can see it. Do this with my highlighter. Now, in any good desert, I better have some bluffs. Who knows if this will get covered up. Now the further down I go, the bigger the objects can be, the more detailed. Maybe here's a rock. You know what? I think this, I might put a big rock right here so it looks like I'm right up against a bluff. Okay, so I have a good, a good place. Let's see for my, for my homes. Two, I have tiny homes. I got tiny homes. Now, just like in Kistler's Principles, I'm going to be working on foreshortening to make it look like it's coming at you. So I'm gonna start here and you know what? I better figure out how many I need. Number two, two, I get three, so I'm right here. Okay, so I have placement for my three tiny homes. I've got them there. I've got my background. Now I need to see what time of year it is. Oh, I've got nighttime. Okay. 
I'm going to go back and add some more detail to this, maybe a road. There's my road skipping off. Okay, I need to think of some more detail. So deserts have cacti. Maybe I need a big cactus peeking out over here. Okay, since I rolled nighttime, I want to put a big moon. I think giant full moon right there would be great. Okay, time for some detail. Okay, so right here, everything that is close is bigger and more detailed. Anything that's far back there has less detail and um, less density. It's less dark. Okay, so here this one, not much detail. This house, lots of detail. Okay, now on to coloring. Since this is all on video, I want you to use what you have, and I'm also going to use what I have, which is markers, crayons, and colored pencils.
Okay, right now I need to let this dry because I use markers, and we'll come back soon.